So I'm a business analyst here and I need to do analysis on my expense report data set. I'm not very familiar with ZV so I can get to the point of dragging a few metrics and I can see that I have 200,000 rows here and I have some trending information day to day here with breakdown by expense type or business units, but I need a deeper analysis. I need capability of measuring growth rates, quarter to quarter growth and so on. So I have found an example project of DV showing exactly what I want, but set up on an example data set sample order lines. Value growth of sales by quarter, by customer segment, with a ranking of uh, top growth, indexed growth showing if we start at 100% which market segment here or customer segment and growing the fastest, which is a different information for value to growth. This is what I'm interested in. Another example here is quarter to quarter growth rate and where and when and in which group. That's what I would like to see applied to my expense report. So I am concerned that I may not have time for this. It's about building some advanced calculation and I'm not so familiar with it. And my project deadline won't allow me to get familiar with this on time. So instead, so I'm going to use the replace data set feature and point that report to a different data set, which is expense report. So I select expense report and this prompts me with the few columns that are being used to produce all the insights I showed you. This is actually column, very few columns that are consumed in all the calculations and the visuals. And I have to map them to my expense report data set. So I'm going to pick for sales. I'm going to use amount. I would like amount to be the topic of my analysis. For order date, I would like to replace this by date posted. And for customer segments here in my expense report, let's have expense type or how about business units in that instead and let's hit replace and the system is just doing all the wiring on the project and now what we're seeing is the project source to my expense report and let me filter for a given year just to exclude 2016 because that year is incomplete exclude 2016 and the whole report here is working in I can see that projects and communications are the big spenders. I need to look at that. And these are the ones that have the top value. However, when I look at index, let me pin this. When I look at index growth, it's very different. I can perceive that finance is quadrupling their expenses here. That's interesting. That's quite a growth. I need to focus on these guys. Uh, if I look at the value, I couldn't perceive that in the value report, but it's very visible in the uh, indexed report. That's valuable insight. The uh, quarter to quarter growth is also uh, giving me some indicati indication of uh, how things are trending and if there is a pattern over the year. I can easily replace the data set again to the same expense report target and replace business units to expense type this time and the whole report will refresh by expense type and I can see now a uh, different set of charts. So that's the value of a replace data set in a matter of seconds. I was able to get deep, sophisticated and valuable insight on my own data without having to know anything about DV nor having to spend any time designing all this. This was already, already consumable for me.